There is Dixon, you've been invited to attend uh, Dress Code Smart Casual. Smart Casual. What on earth is Smart Casual? It's really ambiguous and there's no clear definition of it. Before that, let me tell you what Smart Casual isn't. Smart Casual is not about combining different pieces in your wardrobe from different formalities. For example, if you have a suit, you don't want to be combining it with something super casual like a pair of slippers. Or vice versa where you have a tank top and a short and combining it with a pair of Oxford shoes. I personally like to think that Smart Casual should have a 70-30 mix. And what I mean by this is having 70% of your outfit being casual and 30% formal or vice versa we have 70% of it being formal and 30% of it being casual. In general, smart casual means chinos or a pair of dark colored jeans. So that automatically means no distressing of any sort. And in the formality scale, the smart casual look should always be more casual compared to a business casual look. So if you want to know more about business casual and its dress codes, check on this link here. Remember, smart casual is meant to be neat and classy. So forget about your slippers or any athleisure wear. Another thing to consider when it comes to the smart casual dress code is the location. If you're invited to a smart casual beach party then it's more than okay to wear your shorts but you definitely want to think twice before wearing your shorts to a smart casual wedding party. So remember to always keep the location and the occasion in mind. Now that you have a better understanding on how smart casual should or shouldn't look, here are five smart casual outfits. Outfit number one, we have the beach party look. This outfit is super simple. I'm wearing a crisp white dress shirt together with a pair of beige chino shorts. And with the shoes, I'm pairing it with a pair of black driving shoes. And guys, if you're invited to a beach or a yacht party, don't be afraid to accessorize. In this outfit, I'm wearing a steel watch from Seiko and to tie the entire look together, a pair of shades. Not only does it protect your eyes from the sun, but it really completes the summer yacht beach vibe in your outfit. This outfit is really cool and it's really classy and you can always bring in a Harrington jacket in case it gets a little cold at night. A perfect mix of smart and casual from the dress shirt, chino shorts, and the driving shoes just ties everything together. Outfit number two, I'm going to call this look the smart casual look. The reason for this is because when someone mentions smart casual, this would be the outfit that I would imagine in my head. And personally, this outfit is one of my staple go-tos when I'm hanging out with my mates before the lockdown that is. So I'm wearing a gingham button down shirt together with a pair of black jeans. And for the shoes, I'm wearing a brown driving shoes. In my opinion, this is one of the simplest way to pull off a smart casual look. I opted for a pattern shirt because that's going to reduce the formality. And the sleeves, I went with a quarter roll to give it a more casual vibe. And it really helps the diver to stand out. Also, depending on the location, you can always tuck in the shirt for a more formal look or leave it untucked in a more casual setting. Outfit number three, we have the smart polo. The polo tee definitely made the list and personally, I think this outfit should be in every guy's list of staples. I'm wearing a white polo tee together with a pair of beige chino shorts and to reduce the formality, I decided to go with a pair of white leather sneakers for my shoes. And for the accessories, a simple dress wash with a brown strap to match the belt. The polo tee is incredibly versatile and in my opinion, it's one of the perfect pieces for a smart casual occasion. And on colder days, you can easily layer it with a cardigan to maintain the same smart casual vibe. Outfit number four, if things are on the colder side, then you definitely need to try the dress shirt and sweater combo. With this look, I'm basically layering the white dress shirt from the first outfit with a navy crew neck sweater. And to reduce the formality, I decided to leave the shirt untucked. And on the lower half, the same black jeans from the second outfit. And for the shoes, the same white leather sneakers from the third outfit. I'm pretty sure you see by now that I'm mixing and matching a lot of the same pieces from the previous outfits. And that's how smart casual is supposed to be. So focus on the versatility because you're gonna get way more outfits out of it. And last but not the least, we got the t-shirt and blazer combination. I'm wearing a basic white tee, the same black jeans, watch, and white sneaks. Yeah, this look is a very casual look that you see a lot of guys pull off, but one simple way to add a smart touch to the outfit is add on a blazer. 
This charcoal grey blazer is actually part of my suit, but not to worry, if you don't own one, a sport jacket will work just as well. Oh, and don't forget your pocket square. In this kind of setting, I would skip the presidential fold and go for something more fun, like a puff fold or some peaks. This look here is actually perfect if you're someone who prefers to dress on the casual side, because you'll always have the option to remove the blazer. But trust me, you're gonna look way better in a blazer, so don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone once in a while. You can see that the blazer really pumped up the formality, making it very acceptable in smart casual occasions. So that's it for lookbooks. Guys, I suggest not to leave your smart casual outfits for special occasions only. Personally, the smart casual look can easily be every guy's everyday attire. It only makes you look more mature and classy and it can easily adapt to different occasions. So that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. If you learned something new today, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for weekly content. And I want to take this time to thank each and every one of you for your support. It really means the world to me. And be sure to take care of yourselves. And I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, stay dapper.